Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, today's video is about house rules. Okay, so that might sound a little bit dull, but house rules can be very exciting. For example, under Speaker Mesnard, the Democrats and the Republicans negotiated house rules changes. And one of the good changes that was made under Speaker Mesnard was to get rid of the non-germane striker. So a striker is a bill in which they wipe out all the language of one bill and they replace it with another bill. And so under Mesnard, the strikers had to be germane. So they had to be the same topic as the original bill. Uh, in 2019, Speaker Bowers and his leadership team came in. They did not negotiate with the Democrats on the rules changes. It was a huge floor fight, one thing after another that we, we voted on and we fought about because they were trying to overall suppress speech. They were, they shortened the time frames for speaking. You might remember I did a video about this in 2019. And basically they changed rules that had been okay and in force since the 1940s because they knew that we were effective with our speech and our debate and they wanted to give us less time because they thought we would be less effective if we had less time. We actually got really good at being concise in our debates in 2019. So shorter time frames didn't stop us. So in 2020, they have more ideas. For example, one of the things I completely disagree with that the Republicans want to do is to make it prohibited for any member to photograph or videotape any of the action that goes on on the floor of the house, including photographing the boat boats on the board. I think this is a terrible idea. It's like, are you afraid to let your constituents know how you voted? Maybe you're not voting the way they want you to if you're afraid of that. So I think that is a terrible idea. I think that anybody should be able to take photographs if they're doing it in an unobtrusive manner, which we usually do. And so I think that's a bad idea. The other rules change that the Republicans are trying to ram down our throats is the idea of sort of dumbing down the code of conduct. Uh, we have had two Republicans ousted from the House in the last two years, and uh, after the shooter expulsion, uh, Speaker Mesnard and the, and the Democrats uh, decided that there should be a code of conduct. Well, in the year after Speaker Mesnard left, there's no code of conduct, and now the Republicans want to say, oh, we don't really need a code of conduct. And so they want to get rid of the whole idea that we would ever have a code of conduct and make it harder for ethics complaints to be lodged against a House member. I think that's a bad idea. If we're, you know, two have been ousted recently, you know, I think that we have to beef up our code of conduct and make sure that members know uh, what's ethical and what's not ethical. So. I'm for transparency, I'm for having a code of conduct, and I hope that these rule changes don't come to a vote because it'll be messy. It'll be messy.